Hello friends, welcome to C Programming video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood that there are five primitive or basic data types provided by C. They are int, float, double, char and void. Except void and float, other data types can be modified with the help of data type modifiers. Data type modifiers are used to modify the properties of primitive or basic data types except float and void data types. With the help of data type modifiers, we can modify the size, we can modify the sign of primitive or basic data types. There are four data type modifiers we have, short, long, signed and unsigned. By default, all primitive types are signed data types. With the help of short and long, we can modify the size. With the help of signed and unsigned, we can modify the sign of primitive types. We can combine data type modifiers with primitive or basic data types to create wide variety of data types. To modify properties of primitive data types, we precede them by data type modifiers. All we do is we precede the primitive types with data type modifiers. Here I have a table of data type modifiers with primitive data types. If you observe carefully this table, the signed and unsigned data type modifiers are used with character type of data and integer type of data. Whereas short data modifier is used only with integer type and long data type modifier is used with integer and double type of data. As I told that signed and unsigned are used to modify the sign whereas short and long are used to modify the size of primitive types. In this video tutorial, we are going to display size of all data types by writing a program. So let's get started. I minimize the word. I double click on code blocks shortcut to launch the code blocks IDE. You can see that the code blocks IDE got launched. I'm going to create one new project by going to file, say new. I select here project, select projects say console application, I say go. Then I say next, I select C, say next. I give a project title as size of all types. Say next, finish. You can see that size of all types project is created. I click on the plus sign, double click on main.c to see the source code. And I zoom the content so that we can see the content properly. I'm going to select this line of code, say delete. And at present, if I build and run, you see hello world exclamation mark is displayed in the console. I hit enter. Here I say printf, you should display the size of char is equal to percentage i byte. And I say here comma size of to the size of I'm going to pass char data type. We know that char occupies one byte memory location. If I say build and run, you see size of char is one byte displayed. Size of char is this percentage i is replaced by the size of char, whatever value it is returning, it is returning one there. So one byte is displayed. I hit enter. I'm going to select this line of code and paste down. Now I display size of signed char, S-I-G-N-E-D, signed char. So here I say S I G N E D space signed char. If I say build and run, you see that signed char is also one byte. There is no difference in the size, right? I hit enter. I copy this line of code, paste down size of unsigned char, size of unsigned char. I say build and run. You see size of unsigned char is also one byte. So that is how we can use the data type modifiers. Here I use uh, two more backward slash n. You can see here size of char is one byte. Size of signed char is one byte. Size of unsigned char is also one byte. There is no difference in the size. Next we display size of int, size of signed int and size of unsigned int. Let me go to code blocks. I'm going to copy this line of code and uh, paste here. I say size of 
in this place size of int is size of int and if I say build and run you can see that size of int is 4 byte I hit enter I say here bytes I say build and run you see size of int is 4 bytes displayed there I hit enter I'm going to copy this line of code and paste down size of signed int here I say S I G N E D signed int if I say build and run you see size of signed int is also 4 bytes hit enter I am going to copy this line of code and paste down I say here unsigned int I say here unsigned int if I say build and run you see size of unsigned int is also 4 byte so in code blocks int signed in unsigned int all are going to be 4 bytes so remember that this is how we use the data type modifiers with the primitive types you can see here int is of 4 bytes signed int is also 4 bytes unsigned int is also 4 bytes next we know that with the help of short we can reduce the size of data type so we are going to display now short int signed short int and unsigned short int size let's display that now I'm going to copy this line of code and uh, here I use backward slash n twice so that we get more distance and paste now I'm going to say here short int size of short int if I say build and run you can see the size of short int is 2 bytes if you use the short you can see that the system is going to allocate 2 bytes of memory location instead of 4 bytes so it is reducing the size right interesting I hit enter I am going to copy this line of code and paste down here I say SIGNED signed short SIGNED signed short if I say build and run you can see that size of signed short int is 2 bytes I hit enter and I am going to copy this line of code paste down and here I say unsigned short here I say unsigned short int if I say build and run you can see unsigned short int is of 2 bytes so character is of 1 byte int is of 4 byte short int is of 2 bytes I hit enter next we display the size of long int signed long int and unsigned long int usually the long is used to increase the size of primitive types but uh, in code blocks the size of long int is restricted to 4 byte you will see that soon but uh, in some compilers you will see the size of int is increased to 8 bytes from 4 to 8 let's see here what code block displays I'm going to copy this line of code here I add extra backward slash n so that we get more distance and here I say size of long int and here I say size of long int and if I say build and run you see the long int in core blocks is 4 bytes only it is not increasing the size of integer if you, even though you use but in some compilers you see it is increased to 8 bytes I hit enter actually it is a long data type modifier is used to double the size of data type okay I am going to copy this line of code paste down here I say signed long int here I say s i g n e d signed long int if I say build and run you see size of signed long int is 4 bytes hit enter and I am going to copy this line of code and paste down here I say unsigned here I say unsigned if I say build and run you see unsigned long int is also of 4 bytes I hit enter so signed and unsigned are used with character type you can use signed and unsigned with integer type also you can use short and long with integer type next we will see the size of float size of double and size of long double it's quite simple to display I am going to copy this line of code and uh, here I add some backward slash ends extra hit enter paste size of uh, float is here also I say size of float 
we know that size of float is 4 bytes. If I say build and run, you see size of float is 4 bytes. Let me copy this line of code, paste down. Size of double is size of double. So definitely size of double will be 8 bytes. If I say build and run, you can see it is 8 bytes. The double is a double precision float, right? I am going to copy this line of code and paste down. Here I say long double. Here I say long double. If I say build and run, you see size of long double is 12 bytes in code blocks. You can see that is how we display the size of all data types. In the next video tutorial, we are going to display the range of uh, primitive data types when we use the data type modifiers. I think uh, for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to try this code, understand everything clearly. Uh, for more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.